night, guys. It is a fine, but I don't know if this is wildfire smoke or what it is outside the door here. And Bugs in a Jar Farm here on uh, this Thursday morning, September 24th. 2020 and oh yes my name is sam mitchell this is collapse chronicles this is my little co-pilot sancho ponza and i might be back later i'm trying to decide what to which collapse of the chronicle to run today but um while i'm figuring all that out i just want to have a quick nod and then obituary to journalist Andre Vitchek. Andre Vitchek. I have read some of some of Andre's stuff here on Collapse Chronicles. He's not exactly a collapsitarian, but uh, I want to, I guess, thank uh, alert listener Stephen Davidson for uh, sending me the sad news that Andre has gone off to his final adventure, I guess you could say. Uh, this man has headed off into the sunsets on Tuesday, on the opening day of the fall of 2020, was the fall of Andre. And it's just reminded me, uh, I was not, I, I'm, I'm, I, I think Andre would uh, enjoy me doing this. I, uh, I have had some personal history with Andre. He was, I invited him to appear on Collapse Chronicles, to be interviewed on Collapse Chronicles. So what I thought I would do is my goodbye to Andre to uh, read the email chain between the two of us uh, <laughs> that I had, uh, when was it, a uh, couple of years ago. Okay, so I, it was on January 24th of 2019, I was living, uh, I was living in my truck uh, somewhere deep, actually at Mitchell's Landing, deep in the bowels of Everglades National Park on January 19th, 2019, January 24, 2019. So I invited Andre, I sent him out my regular stock uh, invitation to appear on Collapse Chronicles, figuring there is a 50-50% chance that I would ever hear from Andre. Well, it took Andre three hours, three hours to write back. Dear Sam, yes, let's do it. Thank you for your invitation. Right now, I am in Beirut, Lebanon. Topics that may interest you are, one, my latest book with my friend and comrade philosopher John Cobb Jr., the one who helped to convince the government of China to embark on an ecological civilization path titled China and Ecological Civilization. So I was thinking, oh my God, Am I going to, uh, how am I going to let Andre know that China embarking on an ecological civilization would be somewhat like Sancho Panza embarking on a Save the Chipmunks campaign? So I was already getting nervous. Uh, and then... He also suggests, number two, my documentary film, a huge work in progress about the total environmental destruction of the third biggest island on Earth, which would be Borneo. Uh, now, of course, I, as I was going to discuss with, uh, with Andre to get his... 
uh, views on this that the total destruction of Borneo, the third biggest island on Earth, uh, is a direct result, certainly in the past few years, of the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative. It is the Chinese ecological civilization that China is building through its Belt and Road Initiative that is one of the major reasons for the obliteration of Borneo off the face of the planet. So it was it was going to be a spirited discussion between me and Andre. <clears throat> okay, so this was when was this? This was January 24th. Perhaps we can do the interview on Sunday, Janu January 27th, evening my time. I will be in Cairo, Egypt. That was okay. So he wrote that from Beirut, Lebanon, and he said he will be in Cairo, Egypt in three days. And this was my response to Andre. <clears throat> Andre, I am thrilled to hear that. I must admit I am taken aback by your quick response. I am presently camping out in a panther reserve in the Big Cypress Swamp in the Florida Everglades, and my internet connection is edgy at best. I was using the internet at the little Seminole Indian uh, tourist trap, uh, not the best internet. Uh, it is a strange dr job running a YouTube channel called Collapse Chronicles, as you can Im imagine. When I do resurface into civilization, I will get back in touch and we will figure it out. Uh, keep up the good fight. Okay, so I heard back from Andre the next day on January 25th, 2019. Dear Sam, enjoy camping. As for our interview, it is not easy for me to plan in advance. I will be in several war zones in the next weeks and months, including Syria, two weeks from now. I am engaged in anti-imperialist struggles 24-7 365. Please contact me when you are available with concrete dates so that I can see how this can be coordinated. Best regards, Andre. So the next day, January 26th, I wrote back to Andre. Andre, I will definitely do that. I am not exactly camping out but doing my own first-hand research in the war zone of South Florida. It's a crazy place. You should put it on your list of places to visit. I will talk to you soon. Keep up the good fight. January 27th. I hear back from Andre. Dear Sam, fantastic. Let me know and we will make it happen. All the best, Andre. Okay, so let's move up to February 4th, 2019. Andre, I am not happy to report that I have returned for the next two weeks to modern civilization where I at least have dependable internet. So we can either talk before February 19th when I return to the wilderness again for two weeks, or wait until I, re I permanently return to civilization in Austin, Texas on March 7th. Let me know what date would work best for you and I will adjust my schedule according accordingly. Thank you for all your work. Keep up the good fight. Then I heard nothing. Uh, from Andre, so on March the 11th, uh, <clears throat> 2019, I tried again. 
Dear Andre, hello again. This is Sam Mitchell from the Collapse Chronicles YouTube channel reaching out to you once again. I apologize for the delay in getting back with you. I have been offline in the wilderness for much of the winter, but I am back in civilization now with a dependable internet connection. Uh, I am still very much interested in speaking with you for my podcast and hope we can schedule a date and time in the near future. My listeners on Collapse Chronicles and I would very much enjoy hearing your views on the state of the planet in 2019 and anything else you would like to share with us. Please let me know when you will be available to talk over the next few weeks and I will adjust my schedule accordingly. Yes, I look forward to speaking with you soon. Keep up the good fight. And two hours later, I hear back from Andre Vichek. Dear Sam, great to hear from you. Right now, I am, I am high in the Bolivian and Peruvian Andes. I suggest we talk in approximately one week when I reach Santiago, Chile. Warm regards, Andre. So I responded back to him on March 11th. Andre, I think I have finally found someone more of a moving target than I am. I will assume Santiago, Chile has a dependable internet connection. Give me as much notice as you can so I can make sure I am not out in some swamp like I was the last time we talked. Look forward to it. Keep up the good fight. That was March 11th. And then, of course, no word from Andre from Santiago, Chile. So on April 4th, I decided to try again. <clears throat> Andre. I am getting a little concerned that you have been kidnapped by the Shining Path. I am still hoping we can find an hour in both of our schedules to talk. Let me know when you are back in civilization with good internet connection. Okay, then I heard right back from them, hi Sam, no, down there was okay. <clears throat> And I am now in Canada, which I am leaving in six hours. It was tough. I had to address crowds at Peace Rally, speak at three universities, and to give countless interviews. Let us aim for Bangkok between April 13th and April 19th. Best regards, Andre. And my response to that, let's see, so he suggested April 13th to April 19th. So as we got towards those dates, I emailed him again, Andre, I must admit I enjoy your email dispatches. When we do finally get together, I hope you will let me read them aloud as an introduction to who we are dealing with here. Save a, a few of your best stories for me is all I ask. Keep up the good fight, amigo. We are cheering for you. So uh, no word from uh, Andre from that email. So, let's see, what was it? April 13th came and went. April 19th came and went. Uh, no word from Andre. And so, on May the 9th, 2019, I tried again. <clears throat> Andre, just a note to let you know I am still here and ready to talk when you are. I will be on 
the road for the next week that I should be settled in Ithaca, New York after May 20th and would love to pencil in an hour with you. Eventually, I will track you down. Let me know when you have time to take three breaths and talk. Keep up the good fight. Okay, and I heard back two days later on May 11th. Hi, Sam. I am now in Oman commuting from Jakarta to Helsinki. I could do it from May 14th to the 17th, but you write you are on the road. Maybe after May 26th? Warm regards, Andre. So on May 17th, uh, I wrote back to him, Andre, this will teach me to go several days with no internet connection. Obviously, I will have to take your maybe after May 26th. I must admit, though, your chain of email communication over the months will probably suffice for an actual interview with you. I thought I was a moving target. Clearly, I have met my match. We will catch up after May 26. Keep up the good fight. And then, of course, I have no word from Andre on May 26. So on June 17th, remember this started in January, so on June 17th, I, uh, I weighed in again. Andre, this is Sam Mitchell getting back to you once again. I have now resurfaced in civilization in the Catskills, and I think I have dependable internet for a Skype conversation. I will be settled here until at least the end of July. So my schedule is open and flexible. I am on New York time. I am available anytime after 10 a.m. <clears throat> Please let me know when you have an hour or so in your schedule to talk and I will adjust my schedule according you, accordingly. Let me know a date and time that works best for you, and we will hammer out the details. I look forward to our conversation. Okay, so seven days later on June 24th, let's see, February, March, April, this is five months after my first contact with Andre Vitek. Hi, Sam. Sure. We can do it tomorrow, meaning June 25th, afternoon, my Middle East time. Should we say 5 to 6 p.m.? Cheers, Andre. And then, of course, uh, that was, I think that was the time that I knocked the, my, my, my laptop off of the coffee table and uh, had to take it to the shop. Andre, <clears throat> my laptop, this is, uh, the, you know, the day of when he was expecting my call, I guess. Andre, my laptop was in the shop yesterday and will be heading back since the idiot did not fix the problem, so I am just now getting this message. I have an interview with climatologist Jonathan Bamber beginning in less than one hour, and I am preparing for an interview with Alan Wiseman for Thursday, so today would not have worked for me anyway. Whenever you can give me 72 hours notice, that should give me enough time to prepare for our conversation. Stay safe out there, amigo, and keep me and keep me posted. Keep up the good fight. This 
Uh, and this was my response from Andre Vicek. Hi, Sam. This is the fifth time you write any time and then you disappear on me or tell me that you are busy. I am a bit busy too for this, I am afraid. I am sorry, but I am used to giving, giving interviews to RT, Press TV, CGTN, where my time is greatly respected and everything is working with precision. Be well, good luck, but this just will not work. Signed Andre, and my last, uh, my last communication to Andre was on June 25th. Andre, sorry you feel that way, but this is a one-man seat of the pants operation, you know, unlike RT, uh, and any time and working with precision does not mean I can drop my life on a moment's notice with no time to prepare. I should have clarified my definition of any time means a couple of days notice to prepare. I usually set up my interviews weeks in advance so I can sound semi-intelligent when speaking with my guest. Stay out of the way of the bullets. You know where to find me any time. You have a few days of R&R. &R. Hasta luego, amigo. Signed, Sam Mitchell of Collapse Chronicles. And needless to say, I never heard from Andre Vicek again. And here he is on my birthday heading into the wild blue yonder uh, and what uh, the police wondered what did his wife find him dead anyway. Uh, let's see. Uh, in Turkey. Uh, I guess Ankara. The Turkish police say that Andre's death is, quote, suspicious. His wife went to wake him up on Tuesday in the morning, and he had passed away. So it sounds like Andre went to bed Monday night, drifted off to sleep, and never woke up. Uh, who knows? But anyway, Andre, thank you uh, for a lifetime of journalistic excellence. I am sorry. I am very sorry. Uh, we never got together for that interview. Anyway, another truth teller, a little bit confused about the Chinese ecological civilization, but even Andrei Vitchek has a blind spot. We all do. But anyway, guys, uh, Andrei Vitchek, wherever you are, may you rest in peace, brother. And I don't know whether I will come back uh, with another chronicle of the collapse today or not. But tomorrow I will definitely be back with uh, my ecological meltdown roundup rant from mongabay.com. See you then from me and Andre Vitchek. Bye, guys.